it's a very nice uh, yeah, round birch. top table yep. and it's birch. Yes. So what when we're going to do some project like this, um, don't waste your time on fiber board no, or no void, find, void the find a board. wood. Yeah, because you can take a look at a board like this. You think it looks great, but when you turn it over, you can ah. see it's particle board. If it gets wet or it's broken, you can't repair it. Right. So you want to make sure you're working with a good, solid hardwood like we've got here today. Okay. And then you want to make sure you do a little bit of prep for it, a little bit of light sanding, just to make sure you've taken care of any scratches, that sort of thing. So use a very light sandpaper. Yeah, just about a 150 or 180 grit. Okay. You don't need, don't need yeah, any coarse sandpaper. Right. Uh, the 150s, 180s. And when you're sanding, you always want to make sure you're always going in the direction of the grain of the wood so you don't leave right. any scratches. At that point, you want to get rid of your dust. Have we sanded these already? I've already sanded oh, okay. them. I've got them all ready to go for us. Okay. And we're going to be using the Express Color in Emerald. I chose that. I think I, I know you did. <laughs> the thing I like about this Express Color is it's our stain and finish in one. So oh, it's really? very oh, easy. Oh, okay. And since it's water-based, it's going to be fast. You're going to put it right on them? I'm going to squirt oh. it right on there. And a little bit goes a long way. So you get do, great do I get a little too? It. Oh, I yeah. You so. can go to work on that one right there. Okay. And the great thing about this is you just, all you need is a rag to start working it in. And like with all stains, the longer you leave it on, the richer the color is going to be. And so this, having it a, 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 in pieces like this is really a benefit. Exactly. If you do buy gonna... it as a kit, leave it in pieces while you're working on your staining okay. and then put it together afterwards. Oh, now, good. if it comes totally uh, put together, then don't knock it apart, of course. And then just rub that in, and then as you can but see. Do, but do also the feet and I underneath. Would, I do it yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. Do the whole thing. You want to wipe it off in nice and even so that you're going to get that good coverage. And you can always come back if it's a little bit lighter than what you want. Like I, I wiped this off right away. If that's a little bit lighter than what you want, you can wait an hour, come back, put a second coat on, okay. and you're going to have a richer color. Okay. And like I said, the nice thing is you can do this, Martha, just with using an ordinary heavy-duty paper towel. Now, on our table, we've got a pedestal that's got some crevices in it. Right. And one of the tips I offer for that is we're going to take our express color. I've already put it in one of these little uh, dishes we have here. In this case, we're going to use a foam brush. And we're going to take the foam brush, work it into the crevices, because our rag might not reach in there quite as well. No, I was having a little trouble even underneath here. Exactly. So you can use your foam brush in the same way you'd use your rag, put it on there, actually apply it like that, and again, if you want a light version of that. And the great thing about these stains is, unlike paint, it doesn't hide the grain of the wood. Right. Now so they're water soluble, know. so I could wipe that off a little yes, bit with water a wet soluble, rag. Exactly. Which means that you know we aren't going to have any problem with fumes, and it's going to dry fast. You can so notice it's be he's nice an expert. Can you notice how fast he can talk and work <laughs> at the same yeah. time? I thought I was fast. Yeah, uh, you got to be fast. <laughs> now the tabletop gives us just a little bit more of a challenge because it's big, and since we're working with water-based, it does tend to set up fast. So we're going to take. In this case, we're going to use walnut stain on the top. Okay, so we'll make it look Ready more like a traditional table on yeah. the top. It'll look like fun? Yeah. We'll put a little extra over here. Okay. And it's always good to work with a partner on this because of the fact we do want to cover this area before it does start to set up. It's like playing again, doesn't it? The edges, too? <laughs> yeah, right down to the edges. Okay. Work it in. And like I say, we're just using an ordinary paper towel and then going to wipe off the excess so that we can let that grain of the wood show through and wipe with the direction of the grain. Okay. And what about all these little nooks and crannies? Well, yeah, this table has a nice groove cut through it. Don't you think it's a nicely made table? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please say so. <laughs> You're the expert. Now, Bruce comes from a family of scientists. His kids are all are, are into science and medicine. Your wife's a veterinarian. Yeah, I tried to get them all back in the workshop with me, but uh, you know they decided they wanted how to go a different direction. How about a Q-chip? Oh, no, a Q-chip yeah. takes it away. And actually, we're going to do that. We're oh, going to wow. actually wipe it right out of there. Oh. Yep. So what are we going to do in there? Well, we're, actually, that groove has a little bit of primer already applied to oh. it. So we're going to wipe the stain out of there so that we have a nice contrast. I wondered why it was coming out yeah, so easily. Yeah. And we just wipe that right out. Hmm. And obviously we're rushing it through here because we want to make sure we get this done, show everybody how good that is. It does dry looks. awfully fast, much faster yeah. than normal. Well, and that's stain. the great thing about it because it is easy to apply, easy to wipe off, and then you get that nice. So now what about a protective piece. finish once now, this dries? We don't need one on here. We're oh, gonna really? step over here. Yeah, this is our no finish. wax, no nothing? No. We or this is wax in here? Yeah. We'll step over here to it our table. It does say min wax. Yeah, no wax in there though. 
Oh, okay. Now, we step over to our table, and this is done. But as you can see, this is what we'd call a matte finish on here. And so if you wanted to put some more protection on there, we'd step up to a water-based finish, polyacrylic. And anytime you're using a water-based finish, you want to make sure you use a synthetic bristle brush. We're going to dip it as in. As opposed to a normal, I mean... A, right. Or, yeah. You wouldn't want to use a foam brush because that puts oh. bubbles into it. And a natural bristle brush will kind of, you know, they will get, it'll get a little bit, um, it'll swell out of shape. So anytime you're using water-based, you want to use the synthetic bristle brush. And like I say, this is an optional step. Is that going to be a dull finish or a This is the semi-gloss. Semi-gloss. And you would do this if you wanted to give it more protection. But like I oh, said, I would. you don't I, have to. I think it would be prettier, too. Yeah, because the Express Color does give you the finish mixed in with the stain. And you've got the eight colors. And so we've got four traditional wood tones. But you could mix colors, got, too. Exactly. We could have done something on here, like done the outside band with a different color as well. Right. But it, gives you, it makes the project so it's very easy and fast. Very good, very good.